Well, good morning, everybody. It's Bella here from Bella's Crafty Studio, and I'm affiliated with Rachel and Bella Crafts. Um, I'm back. So it's been a long week. We've had a really, really busy week, and um, I've changed up the whole of my craft room around, and I've moved things about, if you've seen the previous video. But I'd just like to say a great big thank you to everybody that has supported me this week with um, the A to Z, and also with the little video I did of my um, craft room. I really appreciate that. So thank you all so much for your comments and your likes and your shares. Um, so let's get started. So I've got a few things to show you. Uh, I'm still working on this. I have done a little bit of work on this, but not much because I've been so busy. And I'll tell you all about that as we're going along. Um, this is the journal I'm making. I did cover up that lovely pink uh, material that I had here because I wanted to tie it in with these pockets. And I don't know what I did. Oh, here's the material, sorry. I shall bring the material over and show you what I used. And it was just some kind of little um, tablecloth, I think. I think that's what it was. But anyway, it cut up really well. And that's what I've used. So got some lovely little bits left over. And that's what I've done there. So what I thought I was going to put in these big pockets were these big <laughs> envelopes that I made the other day uh, for the A to Z. And they fit in there absolutely beautifully. So I'm really pleased about that. So I've got a home for those. And that one will go in there to tie in with the blue. You know me, I like to tie things in and that goes in there with the little pink. All right, so they'll be going in there. I'm not going to do that yet. But before I do any of this, I just want to show you um, a few things that I managed to get hold of um, yesterday. It was only yesterday. Rachel and I went to a craft fair in Krakow near, near our home. And um, it was absolutely wonderful. But let me just show you if I can just move these other things out of the way. So I'll do that in a moment. Let me just show you these wonderful boxes. I'm going to stand up because I'll make sure you can see them. So that's the box. It opens like this. And I bought a couple of other things which I've tucked in there. So I'll show you how big it is because that's quite a, a lot of material. Bought two lovely handkerchiefs. And I bought this lovely lace. And these are all off different stalls in the craft fair. And there's quite a bit on there as well. This was expensive, but I didn't mind because it, um, well, I'm not sure if it is uh, vintage. It looks vintage and it looks well worn. So hopefully it is, um, but there's quite a bit on there. So I did pay a little bit for that, but I was quite happy to do that. But this absolutely sweet lady had these wonderful boxes on a stall and she's decoupaged them. <laughs> Oh, and I bought that because I'm doing going to do another art journal. So, actually, Rachel bought me that. So that's that. But isn't this just adorable? Really adorable. And it's all been decoupaged nicely. She's even done the back of it, and she's stamped in there by the look of it. But it's so beautifully done. And inside the box, she hasn't got. So before you ask me, she hasn't got a YouTube channel. We're trying to find out some more information for her. Just for you. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? What does that say? Moo moo, silly moo. <laughs> the cow. I thought they were adorable. So that's that, and that's on, on that side. So let me put that one away, but wait until you see the next one. That's that one. I'll just stand that one down there. Now I need a bit of space for this because it's humongous. And I'm not going to get it into the camera, I don't think. But just look at this. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. I'll just steady it a minute. But I'll move it across so you get the idea of the size. It's bigger than my mat. No, actually, it's roughly the same size as my mat. So... There you go, but it does open, if I've got it right, yes. And it says, love nature. It's covered in butterflies. 
I'll tip it up so you can see the lid. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And I tell you what I'm going to keep in this is all the stuff I'm collecting, not stuff, all the stash I'm collecting for my next slow stitch project, which is with Roxy Creations with Sarah and Rachel. And we're doing a Christmas um, slow stitch journal. So I'm going to keep all my uh, bits and bobs in here for me to keep them all in one place because that's what Rachel suggested and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and I forgot to say before I take it away, as you, as you can see, it's a puzzle. How clever is that? I know lots of people have done this, but her work was absolutely stunning. Really, really stunning. Anyway, I'm going to move that out of the way and put it on my other desk. Hyphenated, sorry, sorry about the bump. And um, that was amazing. She had loads and loads and loads of boxes. And I've got a thing about boxes. So it took me all my willpower not to buy more. But we got them in the end. Now what else have I got to show you? I've showed you those. Um, I did buy some more material, which is downstairs. But these were sweet. Actually, do you know what I did yesterday? Because we had a family gathering. Because we didn't have a housewarming last year, we had a sort of tea party yesterday. And um, part of my family, my children, came because the others were away. And um, I used the ones, that's why they're downstairs. The, the one was a tablecloth and the other one was a curtain. But the material was so lovely. I'll show you in the next video. I put it on the table outside and it, it looked like a tablecloth. It was absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is what I would call a big tray cloth. Um, yeah, it's huge. So there's plenty in that. And I thought that would be lovely in my slow stitch project for Christmas. It's like a, let me see. It's like a gray, it's not brown, it's not gray. I don't know what color you would call that. It's not even a slate gray. So that was that one. And these, there's three of these, and they're cushion covers. And I thought they, these were really jolly. And they weren't expensive. They were in a charity shop that we went in, in Krakow. And I bought the curtain and the tablecloth in the charity shop as well. So that was those. So they were lovely. And in the post, I had some beautiful, because I've had a request to do another prayer journal which I'm delighted about. And um, she requested that I had some actual uh, authentic uh, holy cards. So I bought these, I won't show them all because I want them to be a surprise for her. But aren't they lovely? So I'm gonna cough, sorry. <coughs> the pollen is really happy. We've had a heat wave here in Britain. And I think it's the uh, fabric, the bits, these bits that you get off those, um, that bit of netting has gone down my throat, sorry. So anyway, that, that's ready for the uh, the next journal that I'm doing. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is what's going in our shop um, this week. This one actually is already in our shop. I'll stand up again. And that's the one package that's been on there for quite some time. And they are vintage papers, okay? So that's a lovely pack. Um, 70 pages in there. And there's 100 pages in this one that I'm just putting together. And I just put that round there to keep them together. And I'll, these are the books that we got whilst we're on holiday. And they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I've used old, very old. So there's 10... Of, um, the thing that I've done, I've kept them so that you can put them in, in, in your journal signatures, okay? So there's five of each, so five, five, which makes ten pages. I just want to be clear, we're counting that and that is one page, all right? Just so you know, that and that is one page. So there's ten pages there, ten pages there, and there's a hundred all together. So there's ten, twenty... That's German, 30, and so on. But I'll just whip through the um, the pages so you can see the... I don't want to take them, I just think about it. I'll turn them that way. All right, so that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful page out of these lovely books that I bought. And I did uh, show you the books 
a couple of weeks ago. So you have seen the box. And they've all got, they're all doubled, they're all together, as I said, and they make a page in your signature. All right, so some of them have got writing on, but these are absolutely stunning. And there's five of each, out of each book. So there's a hundred pages. I just wanted to show you those. Nice to see them up close, isn't it? Oh, and that one there, I've just put that one in. It's got Christmas Day on this one. That's just an odd one I popped in. This is the Punch series. I think I've done the... Um, these are the Shakespeare ones I was telling you about. These, these, yes, King Lear. These are out of Shakespeare. The big, 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 thick books that I bought. The expensive ones. So there's 10 pages of those. 10 pages of Punch. Look at that. <laughs> and... Two of these because I haven't, two pages of that, because I haven't got um, many in that book. All right, so I've just put two music pages in. So I just wanted to show you those because they'll be going up in our shop tomorrow. And there's a hundred pages. I am thinking about making smaller uh, packs up, but it takes such a long time to make these packs up and with this hot weather now. So if you wanted some smaller packs, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do for you. All right. So that's those. That's those. And I've shown you the other pack. And now we're going to just do a little bit of crafting, if that's OK with you, because I've got to get the, these signatures into my cover. So I'm planning on doing the elastic because I love it. Isn't that great? It's really heavy. You know, I thought that was a B on there, then I was just going to say B for Bella, but it isn't. <laughs> That's where you put your paint. Right, so let's make the hole. So let me see what I've got that I can... Oh, it's a brush. Oh, look, I thought that was a pen. There are those... Oh, by the way, they're... you fill them up with water, look, and then you can paint with them. I don't know whether you've ever seen those. I've got about four of those. I've moved everything around now in my in my um, craft room. I've got no rulers. I haven't got anything on my page, on my desk. So I'm going to have to wing this a bit. So let's hold that side up. Because they're not actually dead straight. Because I haven't got that on quite. It doesn't matter. It's a junk journal. Why are we worrying? So it's only, th no, it is three signatures. So I'm going to have to do them fairly low. So I'm going to do one there, one there, and one there. I'm doing this by eye. And we'll see how it works out. I hope my head's not in the way. So let's try it. I'm not sure how this is going to work with, with this um, lacy bit on the back, but I'm going to give it a go. Be brave. If you don't try things, you're never going to find out. Now, let's see if I can get it in. If I can get it in. See, I've got it in there. I can see my hole there. I'm going to try and bring it down as near to the edge as I can. Brilliant. It's getting it out. That's the problem, so... Bear with me a minute. Yeah, that's going to be... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to carry on doing this off camera and then I'll be back and then I'll show you how to um, thread them up. Okay? Okay, let's put the eyelets in now. I've done three already, so this shouldn't take too long. And they're going in nicely, so that's good. I really love this uh, method. There is a name for it, but I can never remember it. Roxy Creation uses the name, but uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations, I should say. 
Not very good with names. Let's have a look. That one could do with pressing a bit more. I don't know whether it's because of... No, it is in okay. It's just the material's going back over the top of it. There we go. That was painless. So that's the correct way up. I'm hoping I've got enough elastic now. And uh, just remembering where, where to start, isn't it? Um, let me think about this now. Looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, I don't want the elastic to show on this side. You've got to think, you've got to really think about this. So if I go down here, yes, if I go down here, <clears throat> excuse me, I just heard the uh, train whistle. We've got a little train, a little puffer train that goes across the, the mountain opposite me. And he's making a lovely, lovely, lovely noise. I think what I did last time, I went up there, in there, like that. As I say, you've got to think that. I wasn't sure whether to use white or pink. I think this is working. I don't think it's showing on the other side. Um... Now, how did I do it so that they both came up the same? I'm trying to think now what I did. I've done this a few times, but um, I've had such a long break. Start again. You really got to think about this. Maybe, maybe what I did. No, hang on. This is just, I'm um, just trying this out now to work out what I did. I have to forgive me a moment, but, um, you never know, I might be able to work out how to, um, I only want one knot, you see. So what I'm trying to work out is, I think I doubled it up somewhere. Oh, I, I, I think I remember what I did. I think I crossed it over on the, on the front. I'm not, normally I only have two, um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about this. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and I'm, I'll be back in a moment when I've worked it out. Okay, I'm back. It was a bit of a fiddle, but I can, I think I can remember what I did. So she looks lovely on that side and that's how she is. So what I've had to do in the middle, and it's always nice to have a spare bit of elastic in the middle anyway. Um... Now, where I started, I came, hmm, I'm in trouble with this, aren't I? But anyway, you've got to really think. So I think I came up, up through here, up there, down that one, through that one, up through one of these. So I came up in the middle. I went up, back, back through one of these because they've crossed over here look i don't take it out because i'll never remember what how i've done it um i wonder if you can work it out but i did start so you, you want to start so that the strings don't show this side so i believe i came up through there up there into that one there that that one there up here down here Went back through, up, up through here, the one, 
and then came back to, through there and I think I kept alternating going back and forth there that's what I was doing especially down here look because I did the same at the top if I take it out guys it, I'll, I'll never get it back in so I do apologize and I really had to think about this so um if I get it sussed, I will I will do another video and show you. Um, it was quite tricky, this one. Normally, I only use two holes. So that's why it made it more difficult for me. I really had to think about it. But I tell you where you will see this done properly is on Roxy Creation. She does it all the time. And if, if you go along and see how she does her covers with the elastic, she will show you how this this is done perfectly. I'm not sure whether hers show this side. This this is why I had to think really hard about it because I didn't want it showing on here because I didn't want it lumpy because I intend, I picked up the red from there and it's absolutely perfect. And I'm going to put put that down there like so. But I'm going to trim it because I do want the um, the eyelets to show. So I'll probably trim a little bit off either end and then I'm going to glue that on there and that's going to be my spine. OK, so I'm sorry that was a bit of a mixed match, but let's let's get the. Um, I think I'll just glue this on first, shouldn't I? I've got a bit of cotton there. There we are. Now, which way up do we think? I think actually I like that bit going up there, so I'm going to do it that way. So I need to trim a little bit off, not much. Just a little. I just thought it would give it a little bit of a uh, pop of colour. I could still take a little bit more off that end. Not a lot, just a little. Because I don't want it touching the uh, thing necessarily, the eyelets. If I decide to use white and I practice, and as long as I get this so that I'm not interfering with the eyelets, I'll take a little bit more off there. I will do another video and I will show you what I did. I'm not sure about the pink showing there. I think it would have been better with the white. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna just put that over there a second and show you how these fit in here. Uh, that's the first one, yes. So having trouble lifting these. There we go. And if I remember rightly, I think I should be doing this from the back to the front. I think that's what went wrong last time. But that one's gone in okay. Take that off. Oh. Do you know what? I'm really thrilled with that because I really thought that that was going to interfere there. So that is spot on look. So when you're putting these uh, eyelets in, go to, as near, well, measure first, obviously, measure your um, signatures to see whether they're going to fit into this space or even think about that before you make your cover, all right? Before you cut all your pages out. Let's try if I can see if I can do it this way. Now we're going to need to lift up both of these. Having trouble with my fingers today. There we go. Doesn't matter that there's two in there because it's only thin elastic anyway. I think I had this problem last time. Oh, she's in. Good. There we go. That's lovely. That's looking nice. Really nice. And I put those on there just to stop them flopping about. All right, just so you know. That one's better. I do love this idea. You take these off. Now, lift the book up and they should go straight into the middle. OK, 
keep lifting them up like that. And they usually, oh, I left that one on, okay. It's funny getting back into crafting. Uh, it's been a little while, isn't it? So there we are, they're pretty close together, but she's in and I've managed to do it. And I'm very pleased with this, really pleased. I know she's gonna get a little bit bouncy, but you know, the nice thing about this Mandori or something uh, style um, is that if you have too many pages, you can always take them out. But I mean, I haven't got loads and loads of pages in there, but I'm just not gonna be able to make it too bulky. So as I say, I'm gonna put those in here. All right. And then these will go, this one will go in the back there. So I've got a pocket in a pocket. And they fit in there nicely. So I, I've still got, you know, it does close up quite a bit. So I think um, that's going to annoy me. Sorry. It wasn't doing it for me. So let's get rid of it. There we go. Um, and I just love the bird on the front. So when that goes on there, you'll have a pop of colour colour on this as well, like so. And I think that will finish it off very nicely. And I don't think it really matters about the pink because there's lots of pink. That's why I chose the pink because there's this lovely pink in here. There's pink there. There's lots of pink throughout this um, these pages. So these are the pages in my uh, signatures. And this is a book, <laughs> I haven't told you have I? This is a botanical journal, by the way. And I shall be starting work on this now, next week. Uh, some on camera, some off, because it takes so long when you're trying to make a journal on camera because you're just so conscious of the time. Okay, so that's what it's like there. And I'm just gonna flick through them quickly, just to give you some idea. And they are nice and flat. There's no problems with the turning of the pages. In fact, this is um, a really nice, neat um, signature. And that's staying down there nicely. I'm really pleased with this. And it's so tight, you've got a job to know where the signatures stop and start. So everything is in very, very nicely. I'm really pleased with this. I can't even find the signatures, so isn't that just amazing? Where is it? <laughs> that's brilliant because I can't even tell where the signatures start and finish. So that's a really, really nice join. I'm sorry I did it off camera, but it did take me a good while to figure it out. So um, I'm sure Roxy Creations will show you perfectly. And there's lots of other demonstrations. It was just, with this heat as well, it was just a little bit too much to do. And I'm tired from the week I've had, so I apologize. And um, here's the, I cut these out ready. And they were part of the, the one kit that I had in here. It's all blending so well together now, I can't find all the different um oh there it is that's the one and i've been looking and looking on my computer girls where this is so if any of you know whose kit this is please let me know because i i just can't find it on my computer now and these are lovely they're beautiful so i'm going to be doing some of these whomever they are and i'm also doing roxy creations tags as well which I'm going to use the papers which I've got over here ready to make a massa board okay so I'm going to leave it there for now and I shall be back with you next week and be a little bit more organized I hope and I don't know whether this weather's going to last but I tell you we're having a heat wave and the Brits are not used to hot weather so it takes us a couple of days to get into it so bear with us and we shall adjust very slowly have a good week and take care. And don't forget to watch the A to Z of the uh, Summer Bloom collaboration with Rachel Bella Crafts. 
and uh, follow along. And it was Corey's yesterday and Rachel was doing questions and answers, but apparently there was only one question. So if you do have questions, go on to the link tree that is listed below. And there's a section there that will tell you all about um, if you want to ask a question to any of the collaborators and Rachel will get that done for you. All right. So have a good week and God bless you all. Take care now.